Okay, here we go. Final check-in. It's 8.30. Yeah, basically good enough. All right, we are still at 50% state of charge. Security mode is still engaged. I don't hear any beeping, so that's good. Blue light. Look for that blue light. There it is. Quick temperature check. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. It's, um... You can feel there's something running. It's not that it's it's not hot, but you can feel warm air. So, 35 degrees. That's yeah, no that that feels good. That actually feels really good in there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a count of hands really quick. Okay, y'all got your hand up. We're going to let it run through the night because it's going to at one point might as well have it done in a controlled environment so we are at 35 degrees the car is at 50 percent state of charge the security is on and uh we'll check it out in the morning now i have to work tomorrow night so i'm probably not even going to get up till after 10 so this is going to have a long deep run on it so we will see you guys in about 14 hours we'll see what this does walked out to the car to grab the uh the terabyte hard drive for sentry mode because I had an autopilot failure day. I wanted to upload it. I heard this. F2. That means that there was a voltage drop off. Still showing 36 degrees. Oh yeah, no, it's totally cool in there too. So we, de wait a minute. Is it? I thought I just said 41 when I dropped the, the lid. So we're showing 36. Okay, maybe it did. I just heard the compressor. Hmm. And it still shows. Yeah, there we are. Do not waste your money on this. Everything that ACO Power says that this thing is supposed to do, it does not. Fuck. Okay, and because I like to be thorough, I want you guys to see the email. All right, good evening. So I was putting together my video. Codes F2, F5 keep popping up. This gets way too hot in the Model 3 subtrunk, which means it will never work in the summer at the campground. Even leaving sentry mode on, I still get a low power notice. I would very much like a call tag to return this and my money refunded. This is very upsetting as I met you guys at the takeover last year and I really wanted to like this, but it never fits my needs as it can't even run for an hour plugged into the 12 volt. This really sucks. So we'll see if they're as good of a, as a company as they say they are. I and then this really did happen. We got a package from ACO Power and a repeat email or our email back. Uh, sorry about what's going on. Here's the power inverter. Give that a shot. So I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. Um, so far, uh, their reputation is outstanding. They have given me no reason to not promote them as a company, you know, for as big of a channel as I have, but you know, word of mouth is huge. So uh, we're going to get Roxy all fired up with the inverter, and let's see how this goes. So, power inverter. You're going to get a brand new cord. So here's your 110, and then there's your proprietary plug. So this is actually going to replace the 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter that it came with. But there's always that caveat. If you get an inverter, you need to have your own power supply. This one just happens to have a great cigarette lighter. That's This is tight when you put it in there, which is how you want your electrical connector to be. And this one is a 500 watt. I believe it is 30 amps. You have your on and off switch over here. I ran this thing for a week running my CPAP. So we're gonna get into the back of the car, get this plugged in, and then I will try and do a screen record and show you what the stats are on the fridge. Okay, you can't see, but we're plugged in under there with the lid closed, running through our power supply. We have a green light, so we are running. And then the cord is too short for the new one they give you. It's not really long like what you get with the uh, ACO power fridge. So I just came out the middle of the seat. And back here... Hey, we are up and running, and we are at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So, 
This is where it gets really oh, yeah. tricky. Is there's two ways you can cool this. You can put it on max cooling and chill it down really fast, or you can leave it on the eco mode. The catch is if you go to max chilling, you get it cold right now, you're gonna make a lot of heat really quick. You have the a greater potential of throwing one of those codes that I was originally having, F2 or F5, whatever it was, which is an overheat and an undervolt code. So you have to get into the app. This is what I'm gonna do. Change it to low cooling, just let it take its time to come up. And um, you can change the, uh, the warning basically, if it goes off at 12 volts or 11 volts, I'm gonna change mine to the lowest setting. And then we're gonna let this run for an hour and we're gonna see what happens. And we're gonna close everything up, real world, well, contained real world situation. So let's, uh, let me see what okay, I got here. So we are going to settings. Okay, so it's set for 41 degrees. We'll set it for 38 degrees. We're at the low power setting and we're currently pulling 14 and a half volts. Well, that's what it's reading. And I'm not sure if that is max cooling or what the deal that is. And that is the Bluetooth setting. So let me see if I can screen record really quick and then I'll show you the final process. But we're gonna go ahead and close this up right now. You can see that we're in there. Um, the new cord is, it plugs in down here on this side and then here's the power supply right here and right between the seats right there. We go into our test fridge, we search for the Bluetooth signal and it finds it really quick. So I've already had it named obviously and you can still see that we are searching. It should come up right there, scan complete. Tap your name. Okay, so you can see that we can adjust the temperature. So we're going to keep it at 38 degrees. And from here, you're going to touch that little icon. Oh, the screen record button is in the way. Okay, touch your settings icon. The temperature alarm, I believe, is a low voltage alarm setting. Temperature unit to Fahrenheit language English. Okay, working mode. We are going to go into energy saving mode instead of fast cooling max. So that's what max was when we just looked at it. Put it on eco mode, let it work its way up. And the operating voltage is high, medium, and low. I have it in low voltage. I believe it's 10 and a half, 11 volts is, um, if your 12 volt gets that low, the unit will stop, but it'll, it'll unpower itself. That way it doesn't, you know, completely drain your 12 volts. So then we'll hit confirm. ACO power website and customer service information. So I think the key is gonna be to not use max cooling unless you absolutely have to. And if that case, you're probably gonna to wanna to take this out of the car anyway and use it. In the car, just keep everything nice and maintained. You know, you're, you know you're not gonna to leave till whatever time on your trip. So start pre-cooling it prior to that and then load all your stuff up into there. So I think I threw two um, energy drinks in there. We'll see what they look like. It is a quarter to three right now. See you guys in an hour. It has not been an hour, but I decided to check the app anyway and it says it was at 37 degrees or somewhere right in that area. And it most certainly is. Wow, okay. We're working. It's definitely cold in here. I mean, it's not like sustained 37 because it just got there, but we're already light years ahead of where we were. <laughs> I think that the uh, power supply is the way to go. So yeah, from, from right here, I'm gonna upload this video. Uh, this thing is absolutely working as it should. I'm not gonna say it's phenomenal because I haven't really used it yet. However, we're not plugged into the, we're not charging. Uh, we're just running off the car's power as is. So brought it down to 37 degrees. I haven't had a single warning, which is slightly better than we got last time. So that power supply uh, to me thus far looks like it's gonna be just fine. So yeah. If you're in the market for one, or if you just plan to use it, then take it out of the car and put it on the uh, picnic bench or wherever you are. You've got uh, Tesla Tim's endorsement. I think this thing is fantastic. Um, so yeah, bon appetit, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for following.